Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's playgroup outing. Uh, Mrs. Fotheringill, are you sure it's a good idea taking the toddlers on an outing? They can be quite a handful. <laughs> <laughs> the little darlings do have high spirits, but this time I'm not going to let them get the better of me. That's their spirit, Mrs. Fotheringill. She's doomed. Let's check all the toddlers are here. Daisy and Poppy. <laughs> uh, Daisy and Poppy have promised to be as good as gold today. Not that that means very much. I'm sure if Daisy and Poppy say they will be good, they will be. Good as gold! <laughs> Metal Elf? Ouch! She stung Mrs. Fotheringill with her nettle. Raspberry Fairy? <laughs> My little sister. Even her wand is rude. Oh, and last but not least, Tarquin. <laughs> Tarquin like Fodigil. Tarquin is a monster. Remember last time when the toddlers made Mrs. Fotheringill disappear? Yes. All they found was her shoes. <laughs> Now, for today's outing, we're going on a trip to the museum. The big museum? But that's full of big people. Yes, but the museum has so many interesting things for the toddlers to look at. Are you going to take away their wands, Mrs. Fotheringill? No, Holly. If you trust a child, they will repay your trust. <laughs> this is going to be a catastrophe. What's a catastrophe, Daddy? What this is going to be. Oh, look! Here comes the magic bus. All aboard! Come on, everyone. All tight. Going up. Next up, the big museum. Now, as you know, there will be big people at the museum. And we don't want to be seen by big people, do we? No! So what should you do if a big person sees you? Turn them into a frog. No, no, no. If a big person sees you, just pretend to be a toy, like this. I'm a toy. I'm a toy. Last stop, big museum. Everybody off. Oh. <gasps> Keep together. In we go. Wow, these stairs are big. Well, this museum is built for big people. Follow me, everyone, and try not to be seen. Ah! Whoa! Look, Mum, a tiny little person. I'm a toy! I'm a toy! It's a toy. Some poor child must have lost it. Just put it over there so they can find it again. OK, Mum. Phew! That was close. Yes, Ben, but it shows the plan works. If you're seen, just pretend to be a toy. I still think turning them into frogs is simpler. In the big museum, we can get an idea of how wonderful it was in the past. This first room is about the Stone Age. Ooh. A long time ago, the big people lived in caves. These are models of how the cave people must have looked. There's a button to press. Did the cave people have electric light bulbs? No. That's to show how the campfire would have looked when it was lit. Here's another button. <laughs> they move. Ooh. You see, King Thistle? The toddlers are being as good as gold. Good as gold. <laughs> it's actually going quite well. The toddlers haven't even made Mrs. Fotheringill disappear yet. Stone Age times. Close your eyes and imagine what it must have been like. <laughs> I have always wanted to know what it would be like to live in the Stone Age. Abracadabra! <laughs> oh, dear. I suppose it was never going to last. All they've left is her shoes. Daisy, Poppy, where have you sent Mrs. Fotheringill? Stone, Stone Age! Age. <gasps> They've sent Mrs. Fotheringill back to the Stone Age. That was a very naughty thing to do. Bring Mrs. Fotheringill back right now. <sighs> OK. Oh! On second thought, you don't want to know what it was like to live in the Stone Age. Oh, my shoes! It's good to have them back. Right. Next room, 
ancient Egypt. Ooh. Look, here is a model showing how a pyramid was built. It's quite small. Were the ancient Egyptians the size of elves and fairies? No, the ancient Egyptians were big people. And the pyramids are huge. But they wouldn't be able to fit a full-sized pyramid into the museum. Big. That's right, Daisy. Think how big a real pyramid would be. Here we go again. Use your imagination. Big. Ah, no, stop, stop it. My turn. What's going on here? Big people are coming. What's in there? Everyone, pretend to be toys. And what are these little toys doing here? Hello. Uh, hello? Frog time. <laughs> well done, Tarquin. Like they always say, when things are not going quite right, turn them into a frog. That doesn't even rhyme. And turning people into frogs is not a good way to do things. Why not? He'll turn back to a person in a moment and he won't remember a thing. We'd better get out of here before he turns back again. Yes, on with the tour. Oh, my goodness, that was all a bit of an adventure. What we need now is something a little less dangerous. Next room, the Vikings. Less dangerous? Vikings? People think the Vikings just ran around shouting. But really, they were gentle people who farmed and played music. If only there were Vikings around today, I'd love to know what they'd say to us. <laughs> she never learns. Abracadabra! <laughs> Interesting fact about Vikings, all they ate was Spam. I don't think that is correct. It's true! Vikings ate Spam. It was on the telly. Uh, Nanny, what happens when the frogs turn back into Vikings? They'll be very confused and maybe a tiny bit annoyed. Right, let's make sure we're not around when that happens. Wow, look at all those frogs. And what's this? Sorry about this, but I'm going to have to turn you all into frogs. Just for a bit. Eh? Frog time! <laughs> Nanny, why are there still bangs going on in the other rooms? Well, it was going to happen at some point anyway, so I thought I'd save a bit of time and just turn the whole lot of them into frogs. All the big people in the museum? You've turned them all into frogs? That's right. I knew you'd be pleased. Oh, what happened? Where am I? It's the museum man. He's turned back to himself again. Yes, and he's confused and a little bit annoyed. Ah! Oh, no! Ah! All the Vikings are turning back too. Right. I think this is as good a time as any to leave. Let's get out of here. Children, back on the bus. Next stop, the Little Kingdom. Last stop. Everybody off. Oh. Well, all in all, that didn't go too badly. We survived and the museum wasn't destroyed. <laughs> Good goal. You see? All you have to do is trust the little darlings and they will repay your trust. She's really in a world of her own. She never learns. And next time, I thought we could visit a... Next time? Yes, we'll visit a big castle. You know, I've always wanted to live in the times of knights in armour. Abracadabra! Yeah! <laughs> oh, let's bring her back. Abracadabra. On second thoughts, I never want to live in the time of knights in armour. I think the safest, nicest time is right here and now. <laughs> Today's adventure starts at Gaston's house. Gaston is 
lost. <laughs> <laughs> Gaston, are you in? <laughs> Do you want to play? <laughs> Here, Gaston, fetch the stick. <laughs> Again? <laughs> Gaston's taking a while. Yes. Where is he? Princess Holly! Home time! Oh, that's Nanny Plum. Ben! <coughs> Home time! And that's my mum. Bye, everyone. See you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Let's play with Gaston. Yes. yes. Gaston? It's empty. Where is Gaston? Gaston. Gaston? Good morning, children. Has anyone seen Gaston today? No. Has anyone seen Gaston? No. Has anyone seen the ladybug? No. Gaston is lost. Nanny. 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 Have you seen Gaston? Gaston? No. Come to think of it, I haven't seen him at all today. He usually comes in for his breakfast first thing in the morning. But he hasn't touched his food. Gaston is lost. Don't worry, Holly. We can find Gaston by looking in a crystal ball. Let's use this one. It's a snow globe. With a little Eiffel Tower inside. Yes, pretty, isn't it? There you go. Paris in the snow. It's almost like you're there. But how can a snow globe find Gaston? Ah, oh, that's where we need a little magic. The snow is clearing. Ooh! That's Gaston's house. There's Gaston. The crystal ball is showing us what Gaston did yesterday. And then we can work out where he is. Very clever, Nanny. Not just a pretty face, eh? Where's he going? That's me, feeding Gaston yesterday. Good morning, Gaston. Here's your breakfast. <laughs> Hungry boy. Where would you be without me to feed you? Now where's he going? He's at the fairy village. Morning, Gaston. That's my mum. Here's your breakfast. <laughs> He's had two breakfasts. I thought it was just me who fed him. Bye, Gaston. <coughs> He's off again. He's at the great elf tree. And that's the wise old elf. Ah, Gaston, I haven't forgotten you. Here's your breakfast. <coughs> I don't believe it. That's another breakfast. Oh, Gaston's off again. He can't eat any more breakfasts. Look, he's at the playgroup. And that's Mrs Fotheringill. Here's your porridge, Susan. Susan? Good girl, Susan. By my reckoning, that's four breakfasts. I think Gaston needs lots of food because he does lots of running about. <sighs> Oh, he's fallen asleep. I'm not surprised after all that eating. <laughs> Look, it's us. Yes, we played with Gaston yesterday. Gaston, are you in? <coughs> Do you want to play? <laughs> Here, Gaston, fetch the stick. We know this bit. Can you skip past it? OK, I'll fast forward. <laughs> has vanished. Let's watch that again. Stop! There he is. Forward a bit. Oh, he's disappeared. Back a bit. Forward. Gone. He jumps behind those clovers and disappears. So that's where he must be. Come on, we have
have to find him. Let's get the others to help. Why is Old Elf? Why is Old Elf? Gaston needs rescuing. You found him? Not exactly, but we know where he was before he disappeared. This is where Gaston was last seen. And then he vanished behind some clovers. Which clovers? There are lots here. We'll have to search all of them. Gaston? Gaston! Where are you, Gaston? This is crazy. How can anyone just disappear into thin air? <laughs> oh, where's my mum gone? Help! Help! Mum, where are you? Here! Uh, I can't see you. Are you invisible? No! Look down! Gosh, a hole in the ground. I can't see a thing. Wand, give me light. It's a huge cave. Ooh. Ooh. It's full of sparkly diamonds and gems. Ah, looks like we've found a bit of the old dwarf mine. Yes, the little kingdom is riddled with dwarf tunnels. Those dwarfs certainly like to dig. to rescue. Uh, what about me? Oh, yes. Sorry, Mum. I forgot about you. Charming. Let's climb down. It's a good thing I brought the elf rescue rope. Here we come. Whee! <laughs> Whee! Gaston! Gaston! Gaston must be so hungry. <laughs> I can hear voices. Someone's coming. Hide, everyone. In our dwarf mine, oh so old. We dig for diamonds, we dig for gold. <gasps> it's the dwarves. Dinner time. Good boy. When you finish that, there's pudding. I don't believe it. Gaston's only been here a day and he's already got people feeding him. Right, lads. Back to work. Dig, dig, dig. Dig, dig, dig. Lucky the dwarves didn't spot us. They don't like strangers in their minds. Yes, that's why I took the precaution of hiding the elf rope. If the dwarves had seen the rope hanging from the top of the cave, they would have known someone was in here. I'm not called the wise one for nothing. Um, but if the rope's down here, how are we going to climb out? Don't worry. The wise one will have thought of that. He'll have a brilliant plan. Ah, oh, uh, it, this is a bit embarrassing. I, uh, uh, uh... So, the wise one pulled the rope down but forgot that we need to climb up it to get out. Yes, that's about it. No worries, we'll just fly out. But, but us elves can't fly. Oh, OK. I'll magic the rope to the top. Let's go! Wise old elf, aren't you climbing up? I am not climbing up a magic rope. See yourself. You can live down there forever. OK, OK. I'll climb up the magic rope. Hello, everyone. Oh. Hello, Mrs. Fotheringill. What are you doing here? I came as quick as I could when I heard Susan was in trouble. Susan? Who's Susan? Susan the ladybug. <coughs> oh, there you are. <laughs> That's Gaston. <coughs> he won't answer if you call him Susan. Susan, I've brought you something to eat. <coughs> Poor Susan. Who would look after you if I didn't? Hmm? I've got a feeling Susan would manage just fine. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Are you looking forward to your first day at Fox Cubs, Ben? Yes, Dad. I loved being a Fox Cub when I was your age. I've still got my hat. In my day, it was Old Grey Wolf in charge. They've got a new leader now. I wonder who it is. Welcome to Fox Cubs, everybody. I'm the new leader. Hello, Hello Nanny, Nanny Plum. Plum. Don't call me Nanny Plum. I'm Fluffy Owl, to wit to woo. Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. Hello, Nanny Plum. What are you doing here? I'm the new Fox Cub leader. You have to call me Fluffy Owl. Twit to woo. Oh, hello, Fluffy Owl. You have to say the twit to woo bit as well. Tawit ta woo. You're just in time for the badges. Oh, is someone getting a badge? Ben, you're going to have so much fun getting your badges. Dad, what badges did you get when you were a fox cub? I got an adventure badge, a sailing badge and a knots badge. A knots badge? Yes. After days and days of tying knot after knot, I finally got my knots badge. It was hard work, but worth it. Who wants a badge? Me? Eh? Everyone step forward and tell me what badge you'd like. You first, Rosie. Can I have... Adventure badge, please. One adventure badge. But, but... Can I have a sailing badge? Of course. One sailing badge. Strawberry, what would you like? A knots badge, please. Here you go. Stop it. Stop it at once. You don't just hand out badges. Why not? You have to earn your badges. To get my adventure badge, I had to spend three days camping in the wild. Well, I watched a whole night of TV for my watching TV badge. Watching TV badge? That's not what the Fox Cubs are about. The Fox Cubs are about having adventures in the wild. Adventures do sound like fun. We like adventures. Mr Elf, can we have an adventure in the wild? Well, it's not up to me. It's up to Fluffy Owl. Oh, very well. Follow me, everyone. OK, here we are, having an adventure. What do we do? Well, imagine we had to look for food. How do we find food here? Fluffy Owl, why don't you show the children how to find food in the wild? All right. This way, everyone. Now they'll see. It's not easy to find food in the wild. Hiya! We found food. Ice cream! Ice cream? Yes, from the ice cream van over there. But that's cheating! Look, you said find some food, so we did. Now you're changing the rules. We got you a raspberry ripple, Mr Elf. OK, moving on from finding food. Does anybody know how to make a shelter? Oh, me! Me! I brought my tent. Watch this. There we go. Ooh. It's got five bedrooms, a bathroom, a television and even a cellar. Oh, it's amazing. The best tent in the world. We can't sleep in that. Why not? What's wrong with being comfortable when you're on holiday? This is an adventure, not a holiday. We'll make a shelter out of two twigs and a leaf. You lean the twigs up like this and, hey, presto, what have you got? Two twigs and a leaf. Where's the bed? You sleep on the ground. It's nature's bed. Lovely and cosy. But why bother when you can sleep in my castle tent? You're missing the point. Do you fox cubs want a real adventure? Yes! Good. If you're going to learn how to survive in the wild, you have to be in the wild. Like, uh, at the top of a mountain. What? Fluffy Owl, please magic us to the top of a mountain. OK. Abracadabra. Wow, we're at the top of a real mountain. Fantastic. Now, how are we going to get home? Easy. Our magic us home. Let's say you don't have your wand with you. OK, I'll call for help. No phone either. Hello, hello. But that's going to make it very, very difficult to get home. Exactly. But when you get home, you will have earned your adventure badge. So, what do we do first? 
Maybe we should start by working out which mountain we're on. Good, Ben. That's exactly what we should do. Fluffy Owl, which mountain did you magic us to? No idea. What? You just said a mountain. I don't know one mountain from another. Well, that makes things a bit tricky. Why? Because we don't even know what country we're in. Oh. Perhaps you should magic us back home and we'll start again. I can't. You threw my wand down the mountain. Oh, yes. Let's ring for help. But you threw Fluffy Owl's phone down the mountain too. Oh, yes. So I did. You wanted us to be lost. Now we're lost. Happy now? I'm sure Mr Elf wouldn't have sent us to the top of a mountain if he didn't know how to get us home. Thank you, Strawberry. OK, I think I can work out where we are by using my compass. Let's see. North is that way and the position of the sun is... Oh, my goodness! We're on Everest! What's that, then? Mount Everest! The tallest mountain in the whole world! Is Mount Everest far from home, Dad? A bit far from home, Ben, yes. And is it really very high? A bit high? Yes, Holly. I suppose we could just climb down. Just climb down? Just climb down Everest, the enormous, treacherous mountain of rock and ice, perilous cliff after perilous cliff that could only be conquered by the world's greatest mountaineers? So, Mount Everest is not safe for children to climb down? No, Mount Everest isn't child-friendly. So what do we do now, Mr Einstein? I don't know. Oh, if only we had my castle tent. <sighs> What good would that do? We could watch TV. Could the fairy fly for help? In that wind? You'd be blown away. No, what we need is someone who can climb down the mountain and fetch help. I know. Gaston is good at climbing. <coughs> good idea, Ben. Go, Gaston. Go. Get help. <coughs> it may be some time before Gaston returns. After climbing down the mountain, he will have to journey through the jungle, cross the desert, swim the ocean before he arrives at the little kingdom. Hello, Gaston. <coughs> What's that? All the children and Fluffy Owl and Mr Elf all trapped at the top of a mountain, you say? <coughs> then this is a job for old Grey Wolf. Ow! Lead the way, Gaston. Is this mountain far? Still further? Oh, are we nearly there? So, quite a way then. Gaston's been gone for ages. I hope he's all right. Gaston! And he's brought Old Grey Wolf. Oh, I'm very pleased to see you, Old Grey Donkey. It's Old Grey Wolf, and you have to say, Awoo! OK, Awoo! What's your plan, Old Grey Wolf? Awoo! Have you brought the elf helicopter to lift us to safety? Or a team of mountain rescue elves to carry us down the mountain? Uh, actually, I set off in a bit of a hurry, and you were a bit further away than I expected. So, you're just here on your own without a plan of any sort? Uh, yes. That's about it. Maybe you should do a bit of a magic? I'd love to, but he threw my wand away. So that's why I found it at the bottom of the mountain. Oh, it's good to have you back again. So, if you wouldn't mind um, magicking us back home? No problemo. Hooray! That was a really good adventure. Thank you, Fluffy Owl. Twit twoo. Well, you should thank Mr Elf. It was his idea. Thank you, Mr Elf. Yes, Dad. It was great. Ho, oh, oh. ho. And I think all of you fox cubs have earned your adventure badges. Indeed. Adventure badges for everyone. Thank, Thank you, old grey wolf. Wow. And for fetching help in the fox cubs' hour of need, one of you has earned the rescue badge. Who is it? Gaston, of course. <laughs> Gaston to the rescue! Oh. <laughs> 